Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals for our Wednesday, December 2nd update. Boy, what a crazy week we had last week, but as you can see from my video yesterday, uh, we kind of knew what was going to happen if you've been following my videos. And look at this. What a beautiful, beautiful day out there today. Beautiful sunny skies. The ocean is pretty clear. Uh, look how green and blue that water is. Not to mention, look at this temperature, 53 degrees. That's Florida, folks. Uh, in Florida, uh, the equivalent in the Northeast, uh, 53 in Florida would be uh, minus 53, <laughs> according to some people. If you look at uh, Floridians that actually live here, they just don't tolerate this weather very well. I don't either too much, but uh, you will see people out on the streets and uh, here in South Florida dressed like this uh, in this kind of weather. So it's a little bit crazy. Hey, you know, you're used to what you're used to. Anyways, what's happening in gold and silver and precious metals markets? Well, I like to say right there, steady as she goes. Pretty cool picture, too. Um, I guess it's off a uh, album, apparently. I'm not quite sure which one, but like the picture. And it says exactly what we're doing right now. Steady as she goes. Uh, I'm going to go over the news real quick here. Uh, I'm looking at uh, Zero Hedge because I can't stand the Wall Street Journal anymore. It's just corporate news. Uh, you read their headline, you know everything you need to know. Um, but again, um, just some. I'm going to read headlines actually off ZH here, just a couple uh, on some interesting things. Big miss on ADP. Employment suggests labor market weakness is accelerating. Uh, of course, I didn't see this in the Wall Street Journal. If you go over here, uh, you really don't see anything talking about this. Uh, they just spin a bunch of bullshit on us all the time. And I'll get into that a little bit more here shortly. Uh, where's my mouse? There's my mouse right there. And let's see here. Let's go back to where we were. Uh, big miss on uh, uh, employment, though. Uh, that's not good overall. As I told you, I think come winter, come the, the new year, uh, the shit's going to hit the fan economically. And uh, maybe it's a good thing... Uh, uh, you know, maybe if Trump doesn't uh, win his uh, illegal challenges, maybe it's a good thing he's not in charge for the next four years because whomever is, is in for the shit show of their lives. Uh, so are we. And I think things might even hmm, get crazy here for a little bit. Anyways, uh, let's move along here. And this is on what Ray Dalio says. Uh, the United States is at a tipping point that could lead to a revolution or a civil war. Well, I don't like the word civil war, but I do like the word revolution. I would like to see a bloodless kind of uh, civil disobedience uh, type revolution happen in this country. Uh, I definitely would not ever want to see violence, you know, a brother against brother. That's just needless. But what this country does need is a bloodless revolution of civil disobedience. And that's my opinion. I'd rather see that than see any kind of bloodshed that's just uncalled for, especially when it has to do with ridiculous, moronic politicians uh, and, and a media that lies to us on a daily basis. Anyway, interesting article by uh, Ray Dalio. Um, <laughs> not too positive, but, you know, again, I've been talking for the last six months. I think we're going to see the shit hit the fan here uh, very shortly. And uh, uh, these guys are finally catching on uh, to what we've been talking about for months. Anyway, let's take a look at the Wall Street Journal. Anyway, even though I've canceled my subscription, I only look at the front page. There's nothing here um, except for... Uh, nonsense uh, propaganda and BS actually take a look at this look at, look at this right here. Trump's fraud claims hit a bar Wall Street Journal is actually starting to make fun of uh, the current president's uh, 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 attempt to show that the elections were fraudulent um, or had fraudulent activity, which I believe. Uh, I've known it for many, many years. Since 2008, when I supported Ron Paul, I saw major fraud going on. Uh, and it's kind of, I think it's a good thing. I think uh, Republicans are finally seeing it, and Democrats saw it uh, when it came to Bernie Sanders. At least uh, uh, the socialists saw how uh, the government cheats it cheats us all. And that brings me to my little meme here. Our government and corporate media lie to us daily. And this is true. They do. They lie to us daily. Uh, and then you've got the big uh, uh, corporate media uh, social uh, uh, platforms that uh, uh, are trying to limit speech and uh, uh, that kind of thing. So it's really a sad situation. And it is about time that we do have a revolution. But the revolution I'm talking about is a bloodless coup of sorts, a revolution that uh, revolves around non-compliance, uh, not doing things. Uh, anyway, uh, civil disobedience. Just look up the word civil disobedience uh, when you get a moment. Anyways, let's move along to precious metals here. Uh, oh, before I do that, uh, let's take a quick look here. Uh, 
not many people know this, but gold markets trading times. You know gold trades gold trades for 24 hours a day. And I'm going to read this little thing because I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. Unlike other commodities, the international gold market is a globe-spanning market with continuous 24-hour operation. Um, you know, I've always known it, but I never really quite thought about it. Uh, but it's true. Uh, gold markets operate on a 24-hour basis. It's the only commodity or I, other than I think maybe silver and some of the other metals that do that on a 24-hour basis. Thus, investors can trade gold around the world uh, uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, below is the famous world gold market trading hours. Uh, anyways, just a few to hit here. Uh, New York, since we're in the United States, we mostly trade off New York gold market. Opens at 8.20 a.m., closes at 1.30 p.m. Uh, UK, London, opens at 8 a.m., closes at 5 their time, obviously. And China opens, I mean, so here, take a look at it. You've got a, even, even Pakistan. We've got a worldwide uh, uh, market to trade gold, and gold does trade 24 hours a day. Um, pretty interesting for what they call a useless relic, right? Think about that for a second. Uh, anyways, uh, let's move along to spot prices here. And what do we've got going here? I'm going to do a little refresh, uh, but everything's up, kind of what I expected. The holiday uh, is over pretty much, and that slow holiday weekend, uh, or that slow holiday week where they had, and they always do, generally, uh, had the opportunity just to bang it hard. They did. Uh, but again, I expected it, and if you've been watching my shows, you expected it. Uh, let's take a look at what spot prices are today. Up again, uh, another five bucks, and this is what I think we're going to see. We're just kind of steady as we go uh, kind of thing up until the holiday. Uh, and then after that, during the holidays, it's possible. Again, slow trading, uh, um, holiday season during Christmas, it's possible you can see more monkey hammering just like you did last week. Possible, uh, which provides a good opportunity to uh, uh, buy in uh, at a little bit lower level or buy the dips, as I like to say. Um, and even if you don't don't plan on selling during the holiday, uh, I wouldn't because, uh, again, I think it's going to get monkey hammered, manipulated, and uh, a hit job like they always do. Uh, but it won't last long. Uh, come the new year, I think we're going to go stratosphere with precious metal prices again. I can see silver easily breaking that $30 mark after the new year, and I can see gold easily breaking that $2,000 mark. Uh, um, God, I hate to put time frames on anything, uh, but I think, I think, I think, again, you can never underestimate uh, uh, central banks and how much money they can print to keep the system afloat. Uh, I underestimated so many times that I stopped trying to guess uh, when when the fiat system might implode. So, uh, uh, but my guess is kind of, I just kind of feel it in the gut that we're going to see um, next year at some point, I think we might touch that $2,500 gold mark. Again, I hate to give a time frame on it. I know we're going to see it, uh, but I hate to give time frames on it. It could be sooner. It could be later. It could be the following year. It's tough to say, uh, but I, we're going to see $2,500 gold without a doubt. And remember folks, uh, gold has broken its all time high a few times. Silver still has not broken its all-time high in the last couple of years. Uh, the last time it hit $50 an ounce was in uh, uh, 2012, I believe, or 11. Uh, in the end of 11, no, 2012, I'm sorry. And uh, uh, before that was 1980, and we can't even compare that. $1980 compared to $2012, even compared to dollars today, totally different. Uh, $50 silver in 1980 would be paramount to $500 or more silver today, in my opinion. Uh, and even uh, uh, $50 silver in 2012 uh, is probably like a $75 or $60 silver today, in my opinion. Uh, but anyways, I think we're going to see these marks next year. Uh, however, I think we're going to see a slow tick up uh, up until the holiday seasons, and who knows what's going to happen during the holiday. Uh, markets right now on silver. Let's take a look at the ranges on silver. Uh, pretty cool. 23 fit, but silver, you know, X really crazy you know it can make dollar moves and even bigger moves uh and declines uh when it does but it just follows gold daily uh let's see the range here 2357 to 2434 uh so she handily you remember last week i think it was uh was it friday or something we saw a low on the ticker it didn't close there but we saw a low of 2198 so look at that range on silver uh 22 23 24 two dollars and fifty cents since uh, last friday thereabouts on on a low on the tick uh, but anyways, look at platinum. It's just decoupled from gold and silver. I have no explanation for it. Uh, if you've done a little research, which I haven't had time to do, um, make it in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think, why platinum is uh, uh, just sailing right now. It's crazy. Look at this. It's completely decoupled. Uh, it took forever to try to get above that $900 mark, even when gold and silver were doing well. Uh, then all of a sudden, when gold and silver kind of uh, stopped doing well last week. Platinum just shined on its own. Anyway, cool to watch that metal. About time. I thought it was underpriced as 
as you know, I thought it was really underpriced, uh, and I still think it's underpriced, quite frankly. Uh, but it's nice to see that move up, especially if you're a platinum holder. I talk about palladium, but nobody buys palladium. I've, ne I've met one palladium or two palladium buyers in the last year, so and they only were dealing in a few ounces just for fun. Uh, anyways, that's really about it. Uh, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. I really appreciate you viewing these things. My whole intent, and I know a lot of you don't live here and will probably never do business with me. Uh, however, my whole intent is to uh, teach you how to do this stuff for yourself, teach you what I've learned in the last 40 years. I'm a second generation coin and precious metal dealer. Um, so that's my purpose here is to teach you how to be a more savvy buyer and a more savvy seller. Uh, and I can do that if you listen to me. Anyway, I appreciate you listening and uh, I appreciate you subscribing to my video and like and share. Uh, it really helps me a lot. I, you know, if you don't feel like a lot of people are watching or listening, uh, you, you're not going to go out of your way to do things. But, you know, I see my uh, subscriber list growing and I see the video uh, watch is growing more and more. So I know you folks are out there watching. And, and again, I really appreciate it. But for you new folks, I appreciate you subscribing, liking, and sharing as well. Uh, hey, again, thanks for watching. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. We are in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea, open Mondays through Fridays between nine. I'm oh, sorry, between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Call us anytime at 954-493-8811 for gold, silver, and platinum prices. Uh, and even you rare palladium guys, I'll, I'll take your calls too. Uh, uh, we're here and we're always ha happy to help you, give you spot prices, tell you where to look up good spot prices, uh, and, and let you know what the best products for the cheapest premium available is, which, which, which you all should be looking for when you're buying gold and silver. Uh, again, appreciate you watching my videos. And if there's anything crazy happens before the day end, I will do an update. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if nothing crazy happens, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day.